Hello everybody, Jeff at Cutter Masters. In this video we're going to talk about belt support. Um, for our sharpener friends. During this COVID-19 lockdown we've had some time to refine some things. Um, and so we've been working on the Tradesman Edge as it, as it may become more valuable for knife makers and knife sharpeners. In the sharpener's category, when somebody gives you a knife, the knife already comes with some angles on it. And if it's a nice knife, probably regardless, you don't want to have to try to pick those angles up. Uh, it's pretty hard to match what would be uh, like a 15 degree <clears throat> on both sides, and then there's a micro bevel on top. So a lot of sharpeners just use what we call the flat belt area of a belt, which is the, an unsupported area of belt. Um, <clears throat> and they do that because it's not a fixed angle geometry. It's got a bit of convex shape in it. Well, the problem with that is, what we're finding, is that that varies with pressure. And also, usually belt sanders go too fast. So in the, in the instance of the edge, we've made a DC motor, which has got a very powerful uh, variable speed. In this case, it's a geared belt reduction. It'll run a 10 inch or a six or an eight inch wheel or a two or a four inch belt. <clears throat> and the edge is designed to be a workstation. So this workstation can mount many things. This is the basic grinder and you can put all these other things on it. The edge comes with several mounting points. These are wheel guard mounts in the back. There's Quarter 28 tap tools here, quarter 28 tap tools on the frame so you can move things around. Whether you're grinding in the vertical or the horizontal position in front or in back of the machine, the edge also has forward and reverse. And the really nice part about the edge, if you're grinding a knife that's already pretty sharp, is that it doesn't go very fast. Like if you want to slow down, this is just like moving on a sharpening on a moving grinding stone. <clears throat> the latest research anyway in our in our belt support is we had we have Teflon coated version of our this is our sharpeners platen so it has a little flat belt area right here if you want to use that so you don't have to use the top or the bottom but then after we sharpened a few blades we discovered that there was some variance in the shape if we were just trying to do a finishing pass. So what we've done recently is we, we bought some uh, silicone rubber, some 1 8 inch silicone rubber, and then we bought some 10 thou thick Teflon sheet with adhesive on the back. And what we did is we put a, a layer of that 1 8 and we'll probably end up at 1 16th right here behind the uh, platen. So you actually have kind of a smart platen so what happens when you bear on this surface, and at that speed, you can lean on things. You can actually brace the blade itself and come across like so. And so if pressure varies or the angle varies a little bit, you're not gonna gouge the knife on either side because it's up against a rigid platen, or you're not gonna vary the the shape of the blade because it's in an unbraced area of the belt. It works extremely well, even for roughing. So you can speed this up, you can take a couple of roughing passes. get down to a point where you've actually you it's sharp and you've raised the burr you can actually take the burr off to a great extent just by going like that and in this case here it's not unlike being on a grinding stone with a knife at 45 degrees we also have a leather belt that fits on this so for those people that really want to do a keen job on the edge you can just put the leather belt on and hone it out That's a nice operation, I like it, where it's going to be standard on all of our edge grinders for sharpeners. So, thank you for watching. Hope you're all healthy. Have a nice day.